So in today's video, we'll be going over 15 lucrative work from home jobs that do not require any experience to get started with. Nowadays, I feel like not too many people want to go to the office. And the truth is that there are so many great jobs out there that don't require much experience, but still pay you a lot of money. So I've come up with a list of 15 different jobs that you guys can do from home, all with six figure earning potentials. Now I've curated this list to make sure that there's something for everyone. So I encourage you guys to watch through the entire video, pick one or two of these that you really resonate with and get started working for yourself. Choosing to work for myself has been one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And I really recommend it for anyone that wants time freedom as well as location freedom. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first job that we're talking about today is becoming an online setter. Many of you guys are probably not aware of what this is. So let me quickly describe it. When you work as a setter, you're the one that's basically setting up sales calls for some type of program, service, or product. For example, a lot of online course sellers use setters to help set up those sales calls and then they'll hire a separate closer to actually hop on that call. So as a setter, you're basically going to be in the DMs of someone talking with multiple people at once and trying to get them to book a sales call. Generally, this works the best for high ticket items or high ticket services. And how you get paid is you're going to get a small percentage of the final sale. So for example, let's say you work for a coaching program that costs, let's say $5,000. As a setter, you'll be in this company's or person's DMs, talking to people, turning these into warm leads, and then booking them on some type of sales call. You won't have to actually be on those sales calls since you were just a setter. So this is a perfect job for anyone that is sort of shy and doesn't want to actually hop on calls. Once you book someone onto that sales call, they'll go through that sales process. And if that deal actually closes, you'll get, let's say two or 3% of the sales price. So in the case of, let's say a $5,000 product, you should make at least a hundred to $150 in commission. So potential for this type of job is absolutely massive. And for me, the best part is that it's commission based. So there are no really set hours. Plus if you can book a lot of leads, leads for this service or product, and those leads eventually go on to make a purchase, then you can easily make hundreds to thousands of dollars per day. Now to find a job like this, you're going to want to find people that are selling any type of high ticket product or service. Go online, there's lots of people out there and message or email them saying, hey, I want to be a setter for your company. This is a perfect high paying job that anyone can do from home. And best of all, of course, it's all messaging, meaning you don't need to hop on any calls. I think this is a job that not that many people know about. So that's why I want to put first on this list. And if you want to go for even bigger commissions, you can eventually work as a closer for that same company. And those commissions are likely going to be between five to 10%. So much, much bigger potential earnings. The second job we're talking about today is becoming a remote executive assistant. Nowadays, there are so many entrepreneurs out there or businesses that are looking to hire remote assistants. I think a lot of people have realized that assistants do not need to always be in person. And there's so much that can be done all virtually. Now, I want to emphasize the executive portion of this title, because if you do want to become a normal assistant for someone, that's likely not going to pay that much money. Rather, you want to find high net worth individuals or really big companies and apply to become an executive assistant. This basically means you're going to be doing more high level activities and services, and that should result in a lot more pay. I recommend reaching out directly to these types of people or companies or look at different job postings to see what jobs are available. To be good at this job, you need to be very detail oriented and you need to be on call during normal work hours. If you're able to do this, I think this is a really lucrative work from home job. And that's why it was second on this list. Next up on the list is becoming a social media manager. Essentially what this job does is you're helping businesses coordinate their social media presence. This could be things like posting stories onto Instagram, creating new content that they can post on all social media platforms, or even running a YouTube channel for a brand or person. A lot of big brands are realizing, Hey, we need a bigger social media presence. And also, Hey, creating this organic traffic to our brand or product is a really, really good thing to do. So that's why they're hiring people like this to run their social media platforms. To be good at this, you will need to have a good understanding of social media. And while this does not take any experience, you should at least be a user of these social media platforms. This job requires a lot of brainstorming as well as content creation. So if this is something that you're passionate about. This could be a really great work from home job. You'll likely get access to this company or person's social media accounts, and you'll be tasked with creating consistent and relevant content every single day. Since social media can create so much new revenue, that's why people are looking for really great social media coordinators. And that's why this job made it on this list. Next up is becoming a podcast manager. So these days, a lot of people are starting to get into podcasts. They're realizing, hey, podcasts are a really great way to create one piece of content, be able to post that as long form content, but also be able to cut that up into a lot of short form content. And that's why if you're familiar with podcasting, then this could be a really amazing job for you. Essentially, what you'll do with this position is you'll help set up 
coordinate different podcast episodes. You'll help to edit these podcast videos. You'll help to transcribe them. You'll help with posting them onto different platforms like Spotify, as well as Apple Podcasts. And yeah, essentially you're the one that's running this show. I want to include this job on this list because not many people think of this as an actual job, but you guys, there are so many people out there that are looking to start a podcast for their business, but do not have the experience or time to actually run it themselves. So that's basically where you guys can come in. And just like we talked about, this is a form of social media. And so a lot of people are realizing that, you know, podcasts can lead to a lot of additional revenue. If you can show that you can run and manage a successful podcast, you will be paid handsomely for this job. Basically what I just recommend doing is reach out to successful entrepreneurs, ask them if they've ever thought about running a podcast of their own. And if they are, you can virtually work for them and offer your services. This is definitely a high value skill that a lot of people right now are looking for. Okay, the next job that we're talking about that's extremely lucrative and can be done from home is becoming a short form video editor. Basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking long form content and cutting it into short digestible content made for platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels. I recommend doing this on a per video basis. So let's say you can charge anywhere from 20 to $50 per video, or you can have clients on retainer where you do X pieces of content for them per month for a set fee. I would also recommend niching down. So reach out to certain content creators in specific niches, offer them your services and say that you are very specialized at making short form content for that niche. And that should result in a much higher conversion rate. I know a lot of these jobs have been relating to social media, but you guys, this is one of the best industries to get into, especially if you want to work from home. And the best part about doing short form videos for other people is that you can actually hire this out. So rather than editing yourself, you can sort of turn this into an agency and that way you can sort of leverage other people's time versus trading your time for money. Different companies, short form content is expanding rapidly. A lot of entrepreneurs are realizing the importance of short form content. And so there's so much demand for this job. And if you can do this correctly, you should easily be able to make six figures or more. Okay, the next job we're talking about today is creating templates on productivity platforms to sell. This includes platforms like ClickUp and Notion. Basically with more and more people working from themselves and starting small businesses, the usage of productivity platforms like ClickUp and Notion have skyrocketed over recent years. A lot of these new entrepreneurs do not yet know how to use these platforms. And so that's where your templates come in. You can easily create productivity templates in not that much time and sell these as digital downloads. There are a lot of people doing this extremely successfully. For example, Islo on Twitter, as well as Thomas Frank. And yeah, the earnings potential of this type of job is extremely high. Essentially, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to first build up an audience, hopefully centered around productivity, offer them a lot of value in terms of you know being able to teach them how to use these platforms and then create your digital premium products that they can download. You can sell on platforms like Koji or Gumroad or even Etsy. And you guys, I'm telling you, there are so many people out there that are purchasing these templates right now. And so if you can get a small piece of that pie, you're gonna be making a lot of money. The best thing about digital downloads like these templates is that the profit margins are extremely high. There's virtually no fulfillment cost. And that's why most people that sell digital products have profit margins of nine 90, 95 plus percent. This is an extremely good and lucrative side hustle that can easily turn into a six or even seven figure business. And yeah, that's why I decided to put it in this video. The next job we're talking about today that can easily earn you six figures or more is becoming a website developer. Now you might be thinking, how do I do this without any experience? Well, the good news is that this is a high value skill that actually does not take that much time to learn. There are so many drag and drop website builders out there which require zero coding experience, but still allow you to make a very good looking website. I recommend learning Webflow, WordPress, Squarespace, or even Wix, and then niche down on the types of websites that you help build. For example, I might niche down into helping psychiatrists build their personal websites. The reason why niching down is so important is because it greatly increases your conversion rates. So when you do outreach, you're able to one, charge a higher price, two, deliver a better product since you are very experienced at that, and three, get clients a lot easier. Spend a couple days learning one of these platforms and start doing outreach to different businesses out there that don't have a good website. Offer your services, build up a good portfolio. And I guarantee you, if you do a good job for your clients, they're gonna refer you to their friends and you'll soon have a very good cash flowing business. Overall, this is a high value skill that I think anyone can learn in not that much time. You can do it from literally anywhere at your own hours. And that's why I think this is the perfect job for a lot of you guys watching this video. Okay, so the next job we're talking about is creating a faceless 
YouTube channel. Now, this is definitely a bit riskier since there's no immediate cash flow with this type of job, but the earnings potentials are really, really big. Ideally, you'll want to do this while still doing some other type of side hustle or job that cash flows. And if you build your faceless YouTube channel for long enough, you should be able to monetize it within six to 12 months. But yeah, basically a faceless YouTube channel is something that a lot of people are doing right now and for good reason. You're able to create YouTube videos nowadays without showing your face. And a lot of these channels are very, very successful when it comes to monetization. The great thing about this type of business is that you can pretty much automate the entire process by putting money into it. You can hire a script writer. You can use AI to come up with the video ideas. You can use AI to create a voiceover for these videos. And you can hire an editor from overseas for not that much money. Doing this consistently for a long time in a specific niche can result in building a very successful YouTube channel. And if you guys didn't know, YouTube is one of the best jobs in my opinion. I've been doing it full time for almost three years. And I literally made millions doing this. We're not gonna get into too much specifics on how you guys can start a faceless YouTube channel, but I'll link below a free course that I made teaching you step-by-step -step how to do this. Overall, a great job that you can do from anywhere and if done right and monetized correctly, this can make hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars per year. Okay, so the next job we're talking about is becoming a book Keeper. A bookkeeper basically handles the bookkeeping for a business. That is classifying the transactions of a business, for example, things that the business buys, money coming in, creating a profit and loss statement, balance sheet, and just getting the numbers ready for a CPA to actually do a tax return. So you do not need a license for this. And this is actually very easy to learn. And I just recommend doing a quick course on QuickBooks and then pick a niche that you want to specialize in. I know I've mentioned the word niche in this video a lot, but you guys, if you want to make more money, you need need to niche down. Never do a side hustle that is not niche down because I guarantee you it's going to be a lot harder to get clients. So for example, let's say you want to become a bookkeeper in the content creation niche. This means that you'll get really good at handling the books for different content creators and you can charge a monthly fee, work with a bunch of different clients, and this can definitely become a well-paying job. You can also do it from anywhere in the world whenever you want. And so yeah, that's why I want to include it in this video. I also recommend actually taking a class on building a bookkeeping company. Yes, it does cost some money, but you want to view this as an actual business. And if you do, you can easily create a six figure business doing this. So yeah, we'll put that course down below if you guys do want to check it out. Okay, the next job that we're talking about today is becoming a UGC creator. UGC stands for user generated content. And these days there are so many brands and companies out there realizing, of course, like I said earlier, that they need to make short form content. So this is basically where you come in, right? You're going to create videos for these brands or companies. You'll probably feature yourself using the product or showing the product. And instead of posting on your own social media channels, you're just going to directly send this video to the brand or company. They'll be able to post this video on their page and usually you can charge per video or have them on some type of monthly retainer where you do, let's say five to 10 videos per month and charge X dollars per month. Brands are realizing that this is a very cost effective way to get content made. And so if you're familiar with making short from content, this can be a very, very lucrative job once you get enough clients. This is also great because you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Brands will often send products for you to actually showcase in the videos. And yeah, it's just a very cool job that gets you started as a content creator. I know people making $10,000 plus per month doing this. And yeah, that's why I think it's such a great work from home job. Okay, so the next work from home job we're talking about today is becoming a voiceover artist. Now to become a voiceover artist, you do not need to be a professional. A lot of companies these days, they are looking to translate their content into different languages, especially YouTube channels. So if you know a particular language, you're fluent at it, you can offer this as a service and I guarantee you there are so many people looking for this type of service. What I would do is I would reach out to successful YouTube channels, look for channels that are very big in one particular country, but don't yet have a presence in other countries. For example, I have a pretty big channel in the US, but this channel is not really ideal for Spanish speaking people. So if I want to create a Spanish channel, then I could definitely use a service like this. You can essentially become an all in one service doing translation for people by first using AI and then, you know, correcting it and then using a microphone like this, creating these voiceovers and supplying that with the channel. Of course, this can be done with not only YouTube channels, but other types of businesses. I think that a lot a lot of people are realizing hey, we have so much content in one specific language. Why not turn it into content for other countries as well? To get clients, go on a platform like Fiverr or Upwork, offer your voiceover services. And from there on, you should be able to build your client list. Overall, this is a very high value skill that you can make a very good amount of money doing. So yeah, if you know multiple languages, this could be the perfect work from home job for you. All right, the next job we're talking about is also content related. And this is becoming a content writer. You guys have probably seen this in other videos, but I'll tell you exactly how you guys can do this 
to maximize your earning potential as well as make it super, super efficient for you. Right now, there are so many AI tools out there like copy.ai or even ChatGPT that allow you to create a first foundation for content, right? It does a lot of the research for you. Of course, you'll want to fact check it, but the thing is once you have that first draft, you can go in, change it up, and then basically do this for a lot of clients. Content really is king these days and there are so many brands out there looking to create more written content. And that's why there's so much demand for content writers. By utilizing AI, you can become a lot more efficient when it comes to content writing. And so I recommend charging on a per article basis or per word because this is going to really allow you to leverage time. Now with this particular job, you absolutely need to niche down. You cannot become a general content writer. Pick a niche that you are comfortable writing about and then list your services on different platforms like Upwork and get your first initial clients. If you get, let's say three to five different clients creating written content for them, then you should easily be able to break between five to $10,000 per month in revenue. And of course you can do this from the comfort of your own home, from your laptop. So yeah, that's why I think this is such a great work from home job. The next job we're talking about is sort of related to a content writer, but it's a little bit different. And this is copy editing. By being a copy editor, you can actually specialize in helping people take content that was written by AI and turn it into a very polished written article or content that's actually ready for them to film or post as an article online. Like I mentioned earlier, this is pretty similar to being a content writer, but you're basically niching down, focusing only on editing content that was made before. And guys with AI and so many people hiring writers overseas, you know, they're probably not gonna be the best articles ever. They're gonna need a lot of editing and that's basically where you're going to come in. I guarantee you this is gonna be one of the fastest growing jobs on this list just because because of the volume of people that are creating content with AI and overseas writers. And that's why I really think this is one of the best ones on this list. The next job we're talking about is becoming an online transcriber. Now with transcribing, you're basically taking audio and turning it into text. For example, a lot of podcasters need their audio transcribed. A lot of video content creators also need their content transcribed. And yeah, like I said earlier, this is sort of related to translation, but in this specific job, you are focusing solely on written text. The great thing is that as as a transcriber, you can use AI programs to really help you do this. Use something like Descript or Rev.ai. These are platforms that can create an initial, you know, transcript for you based on whatever audio you've input in. And from there, you can basically go in, edit it, and make sure that it's accurate. A lot of English content these days do need accurate transcriptions. And a lot of people are also hiring transcribers that can turn that audio into text in a different language. So what I would do with this is I would charge by the minute. And if you do this right, you can actually turn it into an agency. You can hire other people to help help you with this. And yeah, the art of transcribing is definitely on the rise. A lot of people are needing this service. So that's why I think it's a perfect work from home job. This one doesn't pay as much as some of the other jobs we've talked about on this list, but it's a job that you can do literally not talking to anyone. And so that's why it might be a comfortable fit for some of you guys watching this video. Okay, the last job we're talking about is becoming an online tutor. Now, of course, this does require you to hop on calls with people. So don't do this if you're super, super shy, but tutoring you guys is a great high value skill that nearly anyone can do as long as you have something that you can teach people in. What I recommend doing is pick some type of topic that you are an expert in and then go on Preply and start doing tutoring that way. It's going to be a little bit hard to get your first initial clients, but once you get your first few reviews, I guarantee you the clients are going to start rolling in. This video is not sponsored by Preply, but I'm a huge fan of this platform. I take weekly Chinese lessons on Preply and it's just been one of the best learning experiences that I've had. So if you know how to teach, let's say Chinese, you know how to teach public speaking, a different language, acting, whatever it is, you can become an instructor on a platform like Preply and teach other people for money. What I would do is I would first do this on something like Preply, but then eventually find your own clients and then start doing group coaching sessions. By tutoring people in a group, you're able to make more money per hour. And that's just basically because you can teach multiple people at the same time, right? You're leveraging your time a little bit. Overall, I think this is one of the most accessible jobs that literally anyone can do right away. And yeah, as long as you have knowledge or experience in some type of subject, you can turn that into teaching other people. This really is the perfect job that nearly anyone can start today. And so yeah, that's why I decided to save it for last. And the great thing is that if you teach a high value skill, you should easily be able to charge 20, 30, 40, 50 or even more per hour. Anyways, I hope you guys found this list of work from home jobs useful. Hopefully there was something on this list that resonated with you that you guys can actually try out. And guys, like I mentioned earlier, being self-employed really is one of the best things you can do. The time freedom, the location freedom, it's all amazing. And that's the lifestyle that I personally prefer. I know we talked about a lot, but the most important thing that you guys can do after the watching this video is to just simply pick one or two of these ideas and get started. Ideas are everywhere, but the action, the implementation, that is 
the most important part. And yeah, just don't overthink it too. Just get started and you'll learn along the way. All right, that's it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. I make a ton of videos about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and investing. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.